Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming here on the Late Night Show on YouTube. We are streaming Farm Simulator 22 live. We got the Frosty Farming crew here. We got Mr. Bellflower. We got Stevenson. We got Gumby. Ready to get rock and rolling on the farm, you feel me? So if you looked at the title of the stream, you're going to notice... What did I put? I think I put flour. Yeah, we got to deliver some flour, cut some grass. We got some taters to do. Got my little list here. Let me look at my little list. I'm gonna do some animal tending. Uh, we got some sugar beet fields to get finished. We got that sugar cut beet that are ready to deliver to our sugar mill. We're gonna take care of that. Uh, milk needs to be delivered to the dairies and the bakeries. We might get to some olive work get to those olive orchards and bada bang bada boom so it should be a productive night we got the whole farm crew here uh what's up kevin moore nathan fiend alexis quivez mickey trimmer duane baker everybody back in the house here what's up tom neat and we got nathaniel stack eddie london's is back in here what's up stone cold uh justin dearden and adam groves siebert 12's here andrew doggett hello sir colin flint morning sir I'm doing well. I'm ready to get my farm on. About to get day some farming. Uh, let me fix my wheel. Always got to fix the wheel before we get started here. All right. It's about as good as it'll get, I guess. That's fine. That's fine. Better than nothing. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hey. Good evening. It's the frosty farming crew. Stevie, give me a honker tooty there. That was pathetic. A little louder. A little, little longer. It's a weak one. That is very weak. I'm disappointed. Gumby, honk me. Eh. And forest land. Well, I guess everybody has weak horns here. We'll have to put it in for some horn maintenance. All right, guys, we're going to cut some grass. How you guys doing this evening? Pretty good. Pretty good? Pretty good. You watch races all day long? What'd you do, Gumby? Yep. Still really? watching them at the moment. <laughs> nice. So what do you what what you're ooh, you're bailing. Yeah. Carry on. You gonna be able to handle that while watching a race? Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This ought to be interesting. We got uh, I'm gonna do the, the grass cutting chat. Stevie's gonna tether the grass. Yeah, we got the order all messed up. I needed a wind rower. We need someone to wind row and someone to bail. And then the bales get picked up after everything's done. I thought that's what Fire Slam was doing. Dang. No biggie. No biggie. I yeah, we'll need that. a wind rower behind Stevie and then Gumby will do the bailing. Tom, that sounds horrible. Well, I hope you feel better. It's not good at all, man. Everybody just getting sick lately. Sorry to hear that. Not Let's good go news straight, at go all. Straight over to you left. Okay. What do you got? Okay. All right. Let's cut this fresh grass. He's always moving. Quit that. <laughs> I didn't touch that stuff. That's wherever you guys parked it last stream. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Vanderford William Z. Stratton? What's going on there, Daddy? I brought the trailer for you. You did do a good job on that. Thank you, Daddy. All right. So this field is perfect. It's it's been fertilized twice, cultivated, lime, fully taken care of. So this should make a pretty good amount of bales for us. If you want to wait till I do one more pass, you won't have to deal with passing yeah, every time. Yeah, that's how Okay. Thing's got the hammer down. 15 mile an hour grass cutter right there. So half the field is going to be hay bales, chat. Other half is going to be wrapped bales. So we're already almost at the halfway point. Do 
Beautiful. What's up, Brian Shyrock? It's the best feeling, yeah, I bet. <laughs> uh, what's up, Nathaniel? Glad to see you here. All right, one more. How about... See this lane I'm on right now, Steve? I'll That'll be the last one, one you tether. If you just want to go behind me so you have your halfway point, then I'll start cutting the other side. And Steerman, I'm going to change my swath dropping. I'm going to start on the other side of the field. Oh, never mind. You guys are already rocking and rolling. Never mind. Never mind. But I will change my swath setting, so on this side, all you'll have to do is bail. Bail on that side? Well, these will be wrapped bales on this okay. side. But I'll have it like a swath drop. Uh, now, don't forget to put down your roller and make straps. I ain't getting that fancy Thank on you. this. <laughs> What's up, Michelle Baird? Someone please oh. answer the phone. Whose phone's ringing? Was that the song that was playing? Who, whose phone was ringing? <laughs> I didn't hear no phone. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Oh, these trees. We're making hay bales for the robotic feeder and maybe to feed the horses, but I don't even think the horses need much. And then, of course, the wrapped bales will be for the robotic feeder as well. Since the last stream, which was like a few days ago, uh, time is uh, fast forwarded to December 1st. So you're going to see a lot of the leaves falling off the trees. It's getting a lot chillier. Snow is in the forecast. So we're just trying to get these bales done for the animals so they can get through the winter with some fresh feed. a while hope all is well what's up jeffrey banville how are ya i haven't seen you in a while i bet i know why because we haven't been golfing at all you got tired of me didn't you you're like no more golf no more frosty nah i hope you're doing well sir i have lost the itch to play golf i, I burned myself out played it way too much and uh completely burned myself out what's up sean shields what's up buddy are you going to be playing Farm Sim tomorrow on Facebook? Yes, we'll be on No Man's Land. Yep. Continue work on No Man's Land. So we got some new mods activated on the uh, Frosty Farms company here tonight. Our one mod is called a No Limits mod, which means the warehouses we deliver to can hold like a infinity amount of crop which is nice because then we don't have to worry about you know did we not do we have enough yada yada or hey now we got an overflow so we cut out that little headache i think that's a pretty cool mod to have when you got a multiplayer farm uh, one of the other mods is an instant wash i'll show you how that works here in a second and that goes for any of you other farmers in the in the discord here if you hit the insert button on your keyboard it'll automatically clean everything you're using so watch this chat it's like magic Whee! everything's clean you just hit the insert button <laughs> nice little mod as well how many rows of that was there for hay three 
Three. I'm sorry, four. Four. All right, we got one, two, three, four here. Mm, yeah, well, okay, yep. I think wrapped bales are more important than hay, huh? Let's keep wrapping these. Yeah, we'll wrap the rest. How many bales did we get out of that four rows? Uh, I put What'd he say? I couldn't hear him. I put eight. Eight. Eight? Not bad. That's a pretty darn good yield. Eight bales out of four rows. Not a huge field either. That's pretty good. We have to automate who turns on this baler, right? Uh, and you might have to just do auto, but yeah, it should wrap it if it's grass. I'm driving a 16 and 22 off. foot box truck for now, and I'm happy to be driving for a living. Nice, George. Just be careful out there. Don't be on your phone while you're driving, you jackwhacker. Very unsafe. But hopefully that's not what you're doing. <laughs> What's up, Joe Wolf? What's up there, brother? Uh, we also got a new truck on the farm. We got a man TGX, just like the ones on Euro Truck Simulator. Uh, any of you even watching, it's right at the main menu in the Mod Hub. Nice looking truck. So now we got a nice variety of, you know, not everybody's truck looks the same. Oh, I think it's a pretty new truck. Oh, I'm kidding. I, you're, you're fine. We got three, we got all the different models. Take your pick. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know, I'm not picky. Nope, I don't even know if Stevie liked his. I just put it together today. <laughs> like, he'll like it or not like it. I don't know. <laughs> I'll drive it. You like it? Yeah, it's awesome. I like the man trucks. I like the way they look. Pretty sleek looking. What's up, Madhead? Jonathan Garrels, Raging Yeti. This is what up, Frousty. Thanks for stopping by earlier. I'm sorry I didn't say nothing. Sometimes I just try to show love by hitting the like button, raging. Uh, usually when I'm getting ready to eat dinner, I try to go through and see who all is live. It's, if it's someone in the community, I try to hit the like button, show support. So apologize if I didn't say nothing. Just trying to show my respect, sir. I think you were doing some snow runner, if memory serves me correct. Gumby got his race truck out. It's not out. It's here still, but it has not been started up, I don't think, unless he did a pre-trip inspection. I doubt it. He's not the pre-trip type. It's fired up and go. Good. Switch. Or take over fire. So you talking to me or Walsh? Whichever one. The electron beagle right. straight lines is watching racing. What do you think, chat? It's looking all right. Yeah, baby. Yeah. And you should be able to just direct unload those to the, the cow pen. That's what I'm wanting to do anyway. Give them as much as they'll take. All right, so some changes on the farm. Anybody watching that's been keeping up with all these episodes, if you look over here, you'll remember this whole field was actually a big garage where we stored all of the harvesters. There's like four harvesters with all the headers. We had a potato harvester in there. We got rid of it. I'm trying to like free up some space to get rid of lag. So all we have here now is our tractors and most of our tools. So like our cultivators, rollers, fertilizer spreaders. <clears throat> I'm gonna run over and show you the new spot because we need to go park this. We're done mowing for the night. Didn't take long at all. So we got a whole new location. It's more central in the middle of the map and it'll just make it easier for all of us when we got to go somewhere. We don't have to drive from one end to the other. We'll always be right in the middle. You know what I'm saying? 
Get some rest, Tom. Just leave right now, buddy. I know you're not feeling good. That's, I'm serious. I, I had it. Many of us have had it. You need to rest. Get sleep, drink lots of fluids, and sleep as much as possible. Get out of here, Tom. Hope you feel better, buddy. All right, so here's the big driveway that leads to our new storage facility for all our big equipment. I'm talking the big stuff, the all the harvesters, the big fertilizer, liquid sprayers, our lawn mowers. Everything goes right up here. There it goes. Look at that. And a nice central location right smack dab in the middle of the map. We got two big sheds. We got solar panel overhead sheds for the harvesters. And then we got these indoor sheds for the mowers and beet harvesters. Or not beets, potatoes, my bad. I ain't seen that here yet. And you'll see my characters dressed up for winter. It's December. Time to get them warm clothes on, right? Beacons off. Shut her down. Bada bing, bada boom. Keep some of that cold air out. There we go. Not too bad, huh? Have a good one, Tom. I hope you feel... I really do hope you feel better, sir. Hate seeing someone not feeling good. Get better, buddy. Jonathan Garrels, what's up? Uh, I would like to see more Mac truck mods. What? The game's got Max in them, you jack whacker. They got the Pinnacle, the Anthem, the Superliner. Why the heck would you want more Mack trucks? That's pretty much all of them, isn't it? <laughs> oh. I love the way this field is right right here. What are these? Sugar beets? Sorry, beet? I drove up too fast. Huh? Yeah, that looks good. 98% bonus. That's a good looking field here, Stevie. Yeah. How you like that layout, Stevie? Looks nice. It's clean. Open, easy to get in and out of. We've got this massive driveway here. Tried to make it real wide by the road so it sticks out when we're driving by, so we know where the entrance is. <laughs> yeah, it looks clean up there now. A little less clutterness going on, huh? A Dolly Parton diet. It really made Joe lean. Joe lean. Joe. Oh gosh. Oh Eddie. <laughs> you got me too. You really did. I I fell for it. You got me. All right. As a team. What do you, what do you what are you boys up to? How's the bailing going? Want me to do a little bit? That's up to you. you How many to rows you got? Uh, two and a half. Two and a half. You want to offload these? Sure, I'll do that. Time. All right, I got one more to put on. We'll be good. And I'm out. The fresh this cut way. field right there. Once this is all cleaned up, we'll have somebody put a coat of fertilizer down on this. A liquid fertilizer. Thank you, Sha. One of them didn't wrap. I was too close to him. Okay. All right, let's go offload these bales. We'll let them finish up with the bale in there. Let me check my list. Probably get you guys started on something else so you don't have to sit there and watch them bale. We do have grass fields way at the top left of the map, but I think this is going to be plenty of bales to get through December, get through the winter months. Um, someone can get in their truck, hook up to the water tanker, and top off all the greenhouses. Then we'll need... someone to hop in a harvester for potatoes and head to field 21. That should give us all something to do for 
the moment anyway. So you guys can toss a coin and decide who's doing what. <laughs> Steve, you want to use your truck for the first time? I don't mind. I don't mind. Doing oh, yeah, I'll show you guys Stevie's notes. truck real quick. Here's Stevenson's new man TGX truck here. It's got his name on it and everything. Looking all fancy. He says he likes it. I think he's telling the truth. I don't know. Looks good. I like it. I think it's just because I'm used to it being here. Did you check the interior? It's pretty sharp, too. It is. It's nice. Nice and fresh. Check it out, Fire Slane. Take a look inside that, Daddy. Not bad. Ooh. I can't look inside. Man, it's like, like, huh? it's like Euro Truck. Pretty good. All right, let's go get these bales off. Oh, uh, thank you, Joe. Not bad, huh? It's coming along. We've made little changes here and there, but all in all, it's coming along very nicely. Now, these wrap bales are not going to unload because they need to ferment. So, it's going to be a kind of a pain in the butt here. Yeah, next time, let's try to pick them up separately. Um, da -da 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 -da. Hmm. How are we going to do this? Go for it. Yeah, I don't I guess. <laughs> guess we'll need a... F yeah. Go all the way down. All right, let's reset this. Parading position. Oh my gosh, AI. So all these wrapped ones probably just load back up and I'll drop them in a different spot let them ferment but we'll, ha we'll load all the hay bales into the robotic feeder just made more work for us to do She's lagging good. Uh, what's with the giant marshmallows, Frosty? Those are called wrapped silage bales. In Poto's words, ooh, mama daddy. It is. We, I feel like we're a professional company. I ain't even kidding. We take care of business up in here. If anybody watched episode 11, that might have... What do you think? That might have been one of our most productive streams, I think. We did a lot of stuff last stream. I, we, we get a lot of stuff done every stream. Even the one where we did all the cotton. That was a lot of cotton. <laughs> That's a whole lot of cotton. Oh, that field 25 was enormous. I enjoyed watching it. <laughs> yeah, you were a little under the weather. Everybody's been sick but Stearman. We're waiting for Stearman to get sick. Why do you get accused me? I don't, know. I don't think you will. But he said this go around. He said more likely you're going to get it. Coming around, bro. I hope I don't get it again. Once was enough for me. Uh, good job, Gumby, for making Frosty have more work to do. It's okay. We're all trying our best. Wait, I didn't do it. Yeah, I, I think it was it somebody was else. <laughs> it don't matter. Yeah, I, th I, I think it was me, but we'll blame Gumby anyway. <laughs> well, yeah, ne is. next time we'll just, well, you know, we'll all try to load them separately. That's all. This knocks out that extra step. But either way, we're s still getting her done. It's all good. Oh, come on. Should be good enough. 
Get in there. Oh. Uh, Rhett Acres coming in with that $5 super chat says happy late night farming for our stay. Thank you very much there, Daddy. Thank you, buddy. How's Mr. Rhett doing? Hopefully, ever, hopefully uh, everybody made it over to Coop Stream tonight to tell him happy birthday. It's his birthday. I'm proud of him. He didn't wear a dress. I thought he was going to bust out a dress, but kept it together for a day. All right, water's done. Anything else for the truck? Uh, Could you... You bring a trailer up here to 21 so I can unload and cut. Oh, you're yeah. working on taters? I am. On the way. Steerman, you about ready for... Here's what we'll do. We'll just pick up the rest of yours with what I got on here, the wrap bales. Okay. If you're done baling, you can just come yep. grab this. I got okay. one more to load up for you. That darn field, look how many wrapped bales that thing made. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. How many you think sitting in the field? Five or six. Dang. So about 16, 17 wrapped bales and then another eight hay bales. So that made 20 plus bales and that's not really that big of a field. So that's the advantages of uh, fertilizing, doing everything you're supposed to do to get that, that nice yield. I got a shipment of Girl Scout cookies today. Which kind? My favorite Girl Scout cookie is the, uh, what is it, the coconut chocolate drizzle, crunchy, whatever those are. Mm, those are so good. Uh, the mint. Mm. See, I'm not a mint guy. My wife is. She loves anything mint. She loves it. I, I've never been a mint fan. Uh, we gotta check Frosty's uh, there you go, sure it's in, intact. <laughs> Thank you. You'll be able to fit the rest on there, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, I see. People owner of this building might need your insurance information to say. I tried to run through it. Where are you going? I'm going to 21. Gotcha. I'm just saying the people owning that building might want your insurance information. <laughs> Samoas, is that what they're called? Yeah, I like them. All about the thin mint, says Joe. Cows go meow. You didn't say what kind you like. Cows go meow. Is that the type of cookie you got? Also heard you sing them in Discord and got to tell you, Frosty, I think you have a second option if you needed to make a little extra moolah. I sounded horrible. I was trying to be funny. You thought that sounded good? <laughs> it did sound good. What? I was being silly. <laughs> I was watching uh, The Voice with my daughter before I went live tonight on uh, Facebook. She likes watching that. Watching all the the people that do know how to sing. How far? I only know how far The Voice is. Yeah, Blake Shelton's a judge now. John Legend. Ariana Grande. Uh, Samoa's two boxes, four boxes of Thin Mint straight to the freezer. Two boxes of new Adventure Fools brownie cookie with salt caramel cream. Holy... You're, stop it! Get me all excited, daddy. Uh, Steerman, you... When you're all filled up, you can go, like, dump all these right in front of the silage spot yeah. where I was. We'll give it a couple days. It'll ferment and then just shove them in there when they're ready. All right, you got anything for me to do either right now? Yep, just let me get this put away and I'll check my list out. Alright, so I'll park over or I'll stand over here so you guys can see Steerman do his magical things he does. He's very magical. 
Oh, yeah, look at this. We got 49,000 liters of straw. We're topped off with 49,000 liters of hay. Uh, oh, I know what you can do, Fire Slain. Hop in a truck and hook up to the slurry tank and empty the slurry from the, the cow farm here. I think I have a slurry tank, I hope. Yeah, I bought one. Where the heck is it? Yeah, there it is. Yep. You can use a tractor or a truck, whatever floats your boat. <clears throat> yeah, you should be able to just dump them right in there, huh? And then we'll rip them open once they're ready. Or do you think that'll affect the robot? I don't know. I don't think it does. You don't think? Yeah. I hope not. Find out. Should be good. Good job, sir. Yeah, so chat, when you do it yourself, like if you buy these from the store, they're ready to rip open. But when you do it yourself, you got to give it, I believe, like two days in the game, like 48 hours, and then they're fermented and you can tear them open and they'll turn into that. So you this is where it. we're going to want them anyway. We'll leave them right here. What's that? You want it the trailer or the sprayer? No, hook up to the slurry right here. All right, so you got to have a tractor for that. No, you can use that. It's got, a P it's got a PTO on Oh, it's because you got Gumby's. His don't have that. <laughs> your truck will work, though. Or a don't tractor. Whatever floats your boat. All right. I am going to go do some milk. Make a delivery of milk. Gumby, do you want to see if any of the factories need water? Did, I didn't one of them need water, I thought. I think so. If it's low, you want to top that off? Yeah, I can. Take your turn if you want there, driver. I can't remember. Is there anything in that tank already? Yep, 71%. Nice. You sh that might top it off. I think there's like another 17,000 liters in there or something. All right, hooking up to the milk tank here. Large cow operation. Pretty much, Chad. We got a full cow house. Um, they've been producing milk, slurry, Got, we got some manure piling up over there in the distance. Not, not enough to really get worried at the moment, but it's definitely filling up. It is full. Nice. Perfect. All right, we got 41% milk. Got 13,000 liters. Fire slaying, if you want, you can go spray that field of grass we cut with that. We can do that, right, Stephen? Uh, does it have the pipes on the back end of it? Ooh, Ooh do I did I forget oh. to buy the attachment? Yeah, you bought. Yeah, I can grab it real quick. Yeah, good thing you said that. <laughs> yeah, just stay right where you're at. I'll try to spawn it right where I'm at. All right, let's get him a spray attachment here. So slurry sprayer right here. We got 36 meters, 7 meters, 30 meters. We'll go with the good old 36 or 125,000 data. And we're broke. So. There you go. Holy camoly. Yeah, that thing's big. <laughs> I yeah, saw on track. History <laughs> Channel where in Florida they have a 40,000 head of cattle operation. Jice! Yeah, this one we got 80. We got 80 cows in this stall. I'll show you guys. 80 happy cows full of total mixed ration. Look at that. They got their heads dug in there. They're having a good old time. And these are all dairy cows. So we will get a lot of milk. Milk will be producing very well. 
And if you need to, you could F11 and strong arm that to where it needs to hook up. I'm getting another try to that angle pull. All right, so I'm going to run some milk. Did you need to take water, Steerman, or was it good? Or Yeah, I'm running water over to the uh, cheese place now. Cheese place, eh? It. Yeah, I had to remember because it makes a soy milk. I'm heading your, I'm going right where you're at to bring a little bit of milk. We'll meet up with Gumby. He's taking water, and I'm bringing milk. Got our nice Renault T-Range truck. I love this truck. Love the interior. Sharp. What's up, Joey? Aloha. What's the plans for the farm tonight? Uh, a lot of deliveries, finally. Uh, Steerman's doing water. I'm doing milk. Fire slain. Loaded up some slurry produced from our cows, so free fertilizer. We already did some grass cutting, baling. Now fire slain's going to cover that field we cut with the slurry. But yeah. Uh, Stevenson's up on field 21. Harvesting some titers, getting all kinds of things done. There he is. Oh, Gumby. What's up, driver? Let's take a look at what's going on here. So this is the, the Fromage de Lune Cheese Factory. All right, so yep, see how they need milk? We got water, we got soybeans. We could probably do another load of water. You don't have to, that's a ton of water. Uh, once we get that milk in there, bada bing, bada boom, we're gonna start making butter, cheese, and soja milch. The heck, is that soy milk? Look behind the thing, there's already two pallets sitting there. Oh, is there? Soy milk. There you go. Even says soy milk. Look at that. 100% natural, unsweetened soy milk. Very, very nice. All right. So once I dump some of that milk, I'm actually going to split the milk in half. I'm going to deliver half the load here and the other half to the bakery. Keep an eye on this. Don't mind me. We'll leave about 6,000 liters left in here. And now we're going to head over to the bakery. Oh, I see you down there getting some water. Nope. I figured since I'm right here, I might as well grab it. Where's the bakery? Is that the one in the middle of the city here? Yeah, the one to okay. the left of us across the street. I like soy milk, Rhett. What's up, Venom? Moon cheese is the loose translation. It was pretty good, but I was kind of thinking like comedic singing for people either for their birthday or maybe they're sick and need some cheering up all kinds of options and you'd be awesome. Well, thank you, Nathaniel. Remember that turns tight, Frosty, so you have to swing wide before you turn in. Uh, at the bakery? Yeah. What am I doing? Sorry. It's a tight turn, so okay. you want to watch when you turn in. When I lived up north, I actually, as a, when I was younger, like teenager, uh, me and my girlfriend at the time, we used to actually go to like nursing homes and stuff and sing to the old farts, try to, you know, put a smile on their face. They just sit in there all day alone. But I did used to do that. Oh, we got bread producing already here. Nice. Before we dump the milk, I always like to take a look at the, the numbers here. All right, so we got a bunch of flour. Uh, we still need to bring them eggs, milk, sugar, butter, strawberries. Oh, and that'll make bread and cake. All right, cool. Let's unload the rest of this milk. 
have a sawmill and a few furniture factories and many greenhouses, says Chad, grinding on my no man's land. I'll, I'll be doing that on Facebook tomorrow night, Chad. Uh, we did no man's land for the first time last week, and this will be my second time streaming it. That map is so much fun because you are literally, you got to use your imagination. All it is is land. So you pretty much create the map the way you want it, and it's it's fun. I'm enjoying it. All right, Milkman's on his way back to the farm. How's everybody doing on their task? I'm on this back. Farm We're doing a right. All right, working. We've got 94,000 liters of water now in the cheese factory. Please. Yeah, that'll be good for a while. What'd you say, Fireslane? For some reason, my strong arm ain't working. Did you accidentally deactivate it? No, it's enabled. It just won't let me use it. What are you trying to move? You still messing around with that sprayer? Yeah, it, this one's a pain in the butt to hook up. You gotta get You're it off. just right. You got it or you need help? You got to strong arm it. it. It will not let me do it. Something else. Got it. Bean Man, it must just not let you guys use this a lot of the things in there. That sucks. Dang it. Maybe maybe it'll get updated someday where everybody can use it. I've been drinking cow's milk my whole life. I have an ice cold glass of milk, 16 ounce every night before bed. Some days I have more than a half a gallon. Milk. Does about a good. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of milk. I found another mod I like, guys. Oh no. It's for potatoes. It's a French fry factory. Ooh, we need that. You can actually have a purpose for your potatoes instead of giving it to the pigs. You can make French fries, chat. I sent I sent the link to Raya, and he about had a heart attack. He was so happy. He's like, I get to do something with my potatoes now. But yeah, good mod. I found it on one of the mod sites today. French fry factory. Dwayne can have his Happy Meal. <laughs> That's right. Now we just need a McDonald's factory. My question is, do we get to make different kinds of fries? Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> Or you want crinkled cut? I mean, if we're gonna do it, we might as well go all out. True. Curly fries. Isn't that nice, Chad? Because, let's face it, the only thing potatoes are really good for is to outright sell them or give them to your pigs. There's no other purpose. All right. How much do these red trailers haul with our trucks? Anybody remember? When we were farming the other night? I think close to 50,000, but I don't okay. remember. Then I need a partner. I need... What's everybody doing at the moment? I'm sitting right beside you. Okay. Gumby, follow me. We're going to go to that sugar beet cut factory. Gotcha. Or processor. We're going to load up all that, take it to the sugar mill. I'll let you lead the way. You sure about that? I mean, you'll blow me away with that truck, but yeah. <laughs> All right, Gumby's going to lead the way in his weird little drag racing truck. <laughs> it's actually an over racing truck, but... Oh, is it? Yeah. Is that an Actros uh, MP3? It looks like an MP3. No, that's an MP4, isn't it? Front end, I can't tell. I forget. Sure. Looked like an MP3. Uh, what's up, Charles Van Nest? Hello, Charles. Got 83 viewers in here. How many people hit the like button? 40 likes. We can do a little better than that. Come on, slop it, daddy. Hit the subscribe button, too, if you're enjoying the show. This is uh, Late Night Farming with the Frosty Farms crew. Uh, we got Gumby, a.k.a. Mr. Steerman. We got Stevenson and Mr. Bellflower, a.k.a. Farslam. So uh, welcome to the show, guys. Hope you're enjoying it. 
So if you watched episode 11, we delivered a bunch of sugar beets to this little processing machine here. It cuts all the beets for us. And the sugar mill does a lot better when you give it more than just sugar beets. If you give it a mixture of sugar beet, sugar cane, and cut sugar beet, it'll make, a, at a way faster rate, it'll make pallets of sugar. So that's what we're doing here. We're getting uh, two full loads of beet sugar cut, or sugar cut beet. I don't know. It's hard to say. much? Uh, I'm at almost 51,000 liters and I'm only 85%. Fine. Please. Oh, there's I think there was about 100,000 in here, so. Yeah. Yep, 48,000 left. Out of debt, buddy. When do we get another episode of Farp Farms? Like I've said a billion times, no idea. No idea. I'm just glad I'm able to do these. I hope you guys like watching these. And I'd ask, how did they decide cow's milk was best? Did they try other animals first? And also, what was the cow thinking? Hey, those are for my babies. It is sad if you think about it too much. The baby cows are getting robbed. Hey, Frosty. What's up? What I didn't know that open. I didn't know that opened either. Can you shut that for a minute? I think this is an M. Oh, that's an MP4. Yeah, you I can tell. I knew the doors opened. I didn't know that opened. I didn't know that opened either. <laughs> so there you go, chat. That's what it looks like when you open the hood of an MP4 Mercedes 12 liter V6. Hmm. V6. That sure seems more powerful than that. All right, lead the way, Daddy. Careful. Hi, good Nathan. Mr. Glickman tuning in from Mexico. He's on vacation. From Canada to oh. Mexico. Ooh. That didn't work. Whatever happened didn't look good there. <laughs> it bottomed out, I think. Yeah, that's the only thing about that truck. It's... Truck's a little rough when it comes to that. It didn't do it on the way over, so I didn't think about it on the way back. Watching it's the right, replay. I'll catch you just like it. Frosty, heads up. Planting trees takes forever. I planted 1,855 trees. You are going to have so much lag. Uh, last night on my farm, it took three hours. You are going to be lagging like a mother with that many trees. That, that might have been a bad call. McDonald's factory. I thought there was some sort of mod that was kind of in the same sort of genre, if I remember correctly. That was a co there was a Coca-Cola one on Farm Sim 19. I mean, they're knocking out, uh, you know, mods every day. Like they're coming out left and right. So I wouldn't be surprised if we keep seeing new factories pop up on the mod sites. I'm just gonna go the long way around here. Street. All right, we ain't gonna have enough to finish this field. You ain't gonna have enough what? Slurry. That's okay, Welcome you can uh, spray the rest with liquid or... Have you got the pig jet? Ooh, yeah, pigs, sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I enjoy these late night streams as long as there's not kindergarten jokes. <laughs> well, so far we've been off to a good start without them. <laughs> you play on the PS5? Oh. Gotcha. <clears throat> Woo, man. 1,855 trees. Holy cow. You, you would think that would even lag on a console. Dang. Yeah, meat factory. That'd be cool. Uh, they had that on Slovak Village. That was pretty sweet. It would make... Uh, pallets of meat 
and they they were worth a lot of money we got a railroad signal down here see i was last time i drove your truck up here i bottomed out on the tracks yeah look at that fresh field of sugar beet mm, that looks good I didn't even drag across it. Nice. Yeah. All right, here we are at the sugar factory, ladies and gentlemen. Got some oils processing. I forget, what was it, sunflower we delivered there last time? Something yep. like that. There is a crap load of sh sugar beet cut. Two big loads of it. This sugar mill is going to be rocking and rolling. Nice. Or you take this turn wide <laughs> when you're done. Got these harvesters up here. Yep. All right, chat, so there's our sugar being processed. Looking fancy. We got 2,600 liters being produced. If you look at the bottom screen, Gumby's dumping. We now have just a smidgen under 100,000 liters of sugar cut and then regular sugar beets. So now it's going to be producing twice as fast than it was with just one. Eventually, we'll get some sugar cane in there once it's ready to harvest. That stuff takes a year in the game. It takes 12 months, I believe, in the game for sugar cane to fully grow. All right, what you doing, Fire Slime? Getting ready to park. What you doing, Stevie? Golden potatoes. How much more you gotta do? Half a field. Half, is it big? Decent size for potatoes, yeah. Um, who wants to volunteer to help them out? We got another potato harvester at the, the new location. I can. All right. Steerman's going to go help you out. You get two men on that. And you do have a truck up there already, right? There's one up here. It'll need to empty before long. I can okay. So you guys can kind of take turns doing that. Uh, what are you using sugar for? Sh I, I'm actually, I'm going to go grab some sugar and take it to the dairy mill. Is that, or wait, or do they already have, sh I'll, I'll have to double check. Bum, bum. Park our rain trailer here. Shut that down for a minute. Let me check my list, chat. I'm sorry. Need sugar to make cakes? You do. Sugar cane is a pain to harvest, but not when you have the Frosty Farm Company. We got three sugar cane harvesters. Uh, we'll be able to... Well, what we're going to do is have two harvesters and two trucks riding beside them. So we'll be able to knock out sugar cane pretty good as a team. Uh, let's see. So we did the cut beets. We delivered those to the sugar mill. Bada bing, bada boom. We got, did, or did we feed any animals? We filled the cows up. Yeah, we filled them with the bales. Cut the grass. Sheep, where's that, where's that bale of grass that uh, you weren't able to wrap? Where did that end up? That's probably sitting in that. I bet it you that's should... sitting in that bin. Yeah.
I got there it is. Denied. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Go give that to the sheep. Came in handy for something, huh? Go. Boom. That gives the sheep 10,721 liters. See how that looks on statistics. Beautiful. They're just a hair shy of perfect. Uh, they're producing wool. Cows are looking great. Um, pigs, good enough. Nothing to worry about there. Let's see the chickens. We could. Ooh, we got a lot of eggs. Nice. Um. I'm gonna hook up to a flatbed chat. I'm gonna grab the eggs, and I'm gonna grab some strawberries. Get some multi-loading going here. What are you doing, fire slaying? Waiting on this task. Oh, I thought you were helping the boys, no? No, you told them to. Um, hop into your truck and hook up to one of these trailers I'm hooking up to. Oh, they got my truck. Right. Or a truck. <laughs> you can drive mine. Yeah. Well, you won't get to get there. <laughs> All right, I'm driving your truck for the first time. <laughs> All right, so we're going to grab... I'm going to grab eggs. You can go grab sugar from the sugar mill. And I'm going to grab strawberries. Strawberries and eggs for me, sugar for you. And we'll meet at the bakery. And I think that's all that's going to spawn there. Give it a second. Ooh, mama, daddy. What's up, Powdo? I need sugar to make the cakes. Yep, I'm going to have Fire Slain go grab pallets of sugar and take as much as it'll give you, Fire Slain. Because we're probably going to split up the sugar. Eh, it doesn't matter. We'll try to get the bakery. The sugar. Start making some cakes. Some cakes. Stevie, just let you know your truck's very touchy. Just don't crash it. <laughs> Touchier than Stearman's? Yes. Really? Slightest turn. <laughs> Get one to a skid. Yep. Goodness. All right, got a full load on here. Strawberries and eggs. Podo, did you... I think you were doing ward zone. Yeah, right? I think I saw you live. I had to send everybody to Coop. It's his birthday. I had to go show some love to Coop. He's a birthday boy. I don't know if you knew that. Make sure you go tell him happy birthday. Chad, we are using sugar for the dairy and the bakery. You know what? It's probably smarter I just put all the eggs at the dairy, huh? Because the bakery's going to need butter. And then just bring eggs to the bakery once we have more eggs. That seemed like the smart thing to do. Mm, yeah. Oh. Never mind. This place doesn't need eggs. I thought, I thought it did. <laughs> 
Never mind. So all this is going to the bakery. Oh, sh sugar. That's right. It's a fire slam. Mm -hmm. When you are on your way over here, the uh, cheese place, can you... Never mind. They don't need sugar either. What am I thinking? I guess the only place that needs sugar is the bakery. Never mind. Yeah, just bring all that sugar over here to the bakery. You had two wins. Oh goodness, you are on fire. Mama, daddy. Dr. Disrespect's gonna be leaving you a voicemail if you keep it up, you bad boy. Frosty, how about a Starbucks factory? That'd be fun. I'm all about the real name factories. Like I said, 19 had, had a pretty good variety. It'd be nice to see more of those come out for 22. All right, here we are. Get the straps off. Bada bing, bada boom. Taking all the eggs. The lights on so you can see better. See, I thought with that mod, I'd be able to dump as much here as I want. I guess not. That must only mean for... Storing. Storing. Nah, that stinks. All right, so now I gotta... I'll just go sell the rest of the strawberries. you had oh yeah the yep that stores it all see I surprised there isn't a mod that'll just you know hold excess amount of stuff right that's all right uh 21 and 19 kill wins you you, you need to slow down all right you're getting a little too good at that game poto all right Yes, he was, says Joe. He was on fire, wasn't he? All right, let's find out. Oh, yeah, look at that. Flour, milk, eggs. All they need now is butter and sugar. Uh, he's bringing sugar. Not sure how much sugar it's going to take, but he'll probably have leftovers. They didn't have that much sugar. How much? Oh, uh, well, yeah. Eight pallets, at least. Okay. Eh, might take it all. We'll see. Trying to see if there's any other places here. Not really. No? We'll have to sell. If you have anything left over, let me know. I'm going to have to sell my... The heck am I hauling? Strawberries. All right, we're going to head over to... Le Jardin des Fermières Farm Shop. Hmm. Nah, we'll go to the pizzeria just for fun. Pizzeria. Right across the street. Cover it since it's fruit. There we go. Frosty, how do you drive onto crop without damaging the crop. You gotta turn crop destruction off. Uh, so what you wanna do is go to your menu. If you're on keyboard, exit. If you're on a controller, hit the start button. You're gonna go down to settings at the bottom of your list. Scroll down a little bit, right here where it says crop destruction, turn that crap off. Because if you leave it on, you're gonna destroy anything those wheels touch. And you don't want that, Lottie. That'll Unless make you, you get have the very mind. Wheels. If you have thin wheels, it doesn't destroy crop. Oh, really? At yeah. all? 
I didn't know that. Nice. So you can use like the uh, the Rubicons and other fertilizers you got. It'll run over those and not destroy the crop. I did not know that. Wow. So there you go. If you have thin wheeled tractors or fertilizers or I even noticed that one lime spreader has thin wheel options. Mm -hmm. That's cool. A nice little tip there. Thank you very much, sir. I did not know that. You're welcome. You are full of knowledge. Right, does yeah. sugar need to go anywhere else before I sell it? You got leftovers? Yeah, I'm going to the restaurant. Yeah, yeah whatever's close. We don't have to... I mean, the demand prices are only off by like 10 to 20 bucks, oh. so... Whatever floats your boat. All right, I forgot the pizzeria was way over here. Here we go. All right, this is not made for a big truck, this area. <laughs> Who put strawberries on their pizza? Not me. Sounds kind of gross, but hey, they want it. Have it. Maybe they serve like strawberry salads or something. Maybe. Ooh, or maybe like a dessert pizza. Yeah. Like the cookie pizza with the white fruity icing and strawberries. Yep. You're welcome, Joey. All right, come on, sell it, sell it. We need to play some night, Poto. I haven't played Warzone in a while. We need to team up and just have a little bit, bit of fun like the old times. It's you and me, Daddy. It's you and me. Nobody else. You and me. A little bit of war zone. You might get a win. With me, I doubt it. With him, <laughs> possibly. You gotta talk to him. So get a win photo. Pineapple's good, but strawberries with red sauce. Yeah, that'd be a little sus. <laughs> this trigger point's touchy with a big truck. Man, I'll have to remember that. Maybe bring a little or smaller trailer over here. But normally, I don't think we'll be bringing a whole lot to the pizzeria. All right. Get your sugar done already? It's done. Get rid of this tag. All right, bring it on down to the farm. How's the uh, taters looking up there? We're almost done. Do you need any loads unloaded, or are you good? No, he just got back. Nice. Yeah, I just took a load down and dropped it off. Yeah, I was, I was disappointed, Poto, in the, the construction crap. Meh, very disappointed. 19 was very uh, so much better so i i might I, I might not even do construction on 22 if it's going to be anything like all that stuff i tested no thanks it was garbage vanguard <laughs> better than cold war better than cold war All right, chat. I don't know why I drove all the way back here. What do you want me to do? You guys tell me. Do you want me to go get flour? Or... Yeah, I'm going to go get flour. How's that sound? <laughs> uh, I don't think there's enough flour for you to get to fire slaying. I mean, it's it'd be a waste of your time. Um, oh, I was already back in the trailer. All right, this truck is way too touchy. You guys are on field 21, right? 
Yep, those taters. Okay, so I'll scratch that off the list. We're gonna get a beat. Unfortunately, we're gonna be doing some more beats tonight. We got three more beat fields to do. One, 12, and 23. Um, Sounds amazing. One of them we're gonna just straight deliver to Sugar Factory and just like last time, one of them we'll take to the Sugar Beet Cut Factory. So Fire Slaying, you wanna just go get a head start on either 1, 12, or 23? 23 and 1, 12, or 23, and the sugar beet harvesters are down at the sugar factory. Yep. And I'm going to go grab some flower chat. Flower power, come on. Not flower, flower. Flow, flower. And we might as well not drive around empty. Let's see if the lettuce is in demand anywhere. Let's check it out, man. We got lettuce selling for 18, all right, pizzeria 1840, 1839, 1840, best price, pizzeria. You know what, we'll load up tomatoes and lettuce. All the tomatoes are in demand. Oh yeah. Going right back to the pizzeria. All right, full load there. Tomatoes and lettuce. Go sell that. And then we'll pick up flour across the street from the pizzeria. We'll go deliver that to the bakery. That helps make bread. Then uh, we'll, as a team, we'll all work on sugar beet together for a little bit. We are knocking the crap out of my list, by the way. I've scratched off almost everything already. <laughs> When you got your four-man crew, things get done quick. For the professionals. Mm-hmm. Speak for yourself. Yeah, I've noticed you're missing quite a lot there, Gumby. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Pineapple's good on pizza. I love pineapple on pizza. Good night, Chris Goers. Have a good one. Fruit on pizza. You don't like that, Nathaniel? I like a little bit of pineapple on my chicken. On my pizza. Or, without fruit, I like, uh, anybody ever had, like, a chicken Alfredo pizza? Oh. Yes. Yeah, oh. baby! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. Very, very nice. Really is good. It is. Gotta admit, though, these European trucks, they are good for tight situations. Bad boys turn on the dime. Look at that. You couldn't do that with a K dub. Just can't do it. Pop up in here, though. Taking her good old time. Eighteen hundred bucks in product. Trigger points way over there. I can't get to it, so I got to do a little manual unloading there. What's up, located? I have Vanguard on PS5 and played online with a few streamers. Eh, it's okay. I think Poto and Thomas and Stearman and all of us that have played it can say, eh, it's okay. Nothing to get too excited about, that's for sure. It's good to play every once in a while. Yeah, every once in a while. 
I don't know when that next once in a while is gonna be. <laughs> in, in a, a while? <laughs> in a while. I'd way rather farm than play that. Whew. I was gonna say, if you're gonna play a shooting game, you'll probably play the new one that's coming out, what, next week? The Rainbow? Yeah. The th that's the 30th, I thought. Or 20th. You're right, 20th. Yeah. I do want to play that. I'll probably not like it, but I'll still probably get it and try it. Two hours, baby. If I don't like it within two hours, I can refund it. Right, Poto? <laughs> the new oh, Rainbow man. Six. Okay. Rainbow, Rainbow Six. Six Extraction, I believe is what it's called. I'll probably hate it. I, I hate them all. But it looks, they always make it look good. I was going to say, I think I get it free because I think it's coming out on uh, the Game Pass. Oh, crap. The light there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... There's no sweat off your back. Not for a dollar. Let's get close to this flower here. We're going to load up as much flour at the flour mill as we can. I don't know how much is going to spawn, but take what we can get. I stand pineapple on pizza. I stand. That's a typo. What's that mean? Does that mean you don't like it or you do like it? R6 is not my cup of tea. Rainbow Six. Me neither. But I always get the itch to try it. I'll probably not like it, but, you know, I'll try it. And if for some magical reason I love it, I'll keep it. If not, I'll refund it. Just make sure I don't go over that two-hour limit. This place makes a lot of flour. You ready to double stack it? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. All right, I think I wiped the place out. Yep, down to only 13 liters. Nice, that is a full load. A flower. We'll just run with the flatbed. It doesn't need to be covered or nothing. There we go. Ooh, daddy. I'm obsessed with it on pizza, says Nathan. Ah, see? I like that, too. It doesn't bother me at all. If I happen to pay with you online on Vanguard, I'm keeping all mics off. Oh, I won't even have you in the Discord, buddy. You don't even have to worry. But you, you're more than welcome to play. Yeah. There's no sense to be in Discord. And just play and have fun. No biggie at all. Oh. There's no way this is going to take all this flour. We'll be selling the rest. <laughs> We're gonna have bread for days. What's up, desert rat? Going on there, driver? My gosh. Am I the only one out of you guys that gets stuck on these these light poles all the time? The, the little old school lanterns? The black ones? This is what croc I'm using. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Drive me nuts. <laughs> My bad. I didn't see your big grid machine there. Oh, I forgot we could do olives. We can break up the monotony and do some uh, olives at some point. In between the... In between all the beets. Ooh, she's taking a lot of flour. That's a lot of bread, baby. Come on! Wow, I didn't think they'd take all of it. Holy crap. I just took all of that. A whole flatbed full on my... Oh crap, I'm inside the... I'm in the restaurant by accident. I fell into it. You're not supposed to work in there. I'm in the basement. 
weren't supposed to happen. Alright, let's check out these numbers. We got 55, 56,000 liters of flour. We got everything in here. Except... butter that's the only thing missing to be able to make cake yeah see that chat butter so once the uh the dairy place starts producing butter we can get that over here and then cakes will be uh being made that's pretty awesome that is awesome it's when the money will roll in see it see how that money is disappearing every once in a while that vehicle stuff that's that auto repair so I think I have the threshold at 25% for repaint, 5% um, damage. So that's why you're seeing that pop up every once in a while. I figured that way we know we're always getting the best uh, performance out of our tools. Costly, but also pays you off when all your fields are getting great productivity, you know? Yeah. All right, let's bring her on back to the farm. Uh, not bad. Just had a three-hour stream ATS in memory of one of our mutual community members. I, I heard, I heard about, uh, I heard about all that. Very, very sad. It's Kyle Maxwell, correct? Yes. He passed away. You know how old he was, by any chance? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think he was very old. But he left he's behind uh, some young kids and very sad. Yeah, he's had, he had complications. That sucks. Some of you might recognize the name. Uh, he, he, was, he was pretty active in a lot of different streams, different streamers. Uh, he passed away, unfortunately. Chicken Alfredo pizza. Now that sounds pretty darn good. That's something I'll definitely have to try. But what I really like is Western barbecue chicken, bacon pizza, and add a, BA, a bit of a, uh, olives and banana. What are you talking about? Once you said olives and banana, I just about puked in my mouth. That sounds disgusting. Olives and bananas? Is that even legal? Is anybody? That sounds gross. 53 to 54 years old. He had a heart attack. Man, that's sad. Very sad. That's too young. Way too young. Whew, that was a lot of deliveries. All right. Go 21 is done. Have I ever told you guys that you're awesome? Every once in a while. No, because you are. Where are you taking that, Stevenson? The farm. Gotcha. I think save, them, save them for uh, that, those French fry, French fry factory, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to take my harvester back to the storage shed. I'll meet you there, that's what I'm gonna do. Gotcha. Oh, dang it. More titers. More tomatoes were produced while I was out driving around. Alright, I'm gonna clean off the horses real quick. Been a while. It's been a while. I need a truck at field 23. <laughs> Trick at 23. I'm sitting here already, so what? what's that 23? What kind of... Sugar beets. All right. I'll actually grab... Nah, yeah, we'll use regular trailer. I'm sick of that auger wagon. Mm -hmm. All right, you heard the man. Field 23 on the double. Where the heck is that at? Let me check it out. Field 23, come on, daddy. Where you at, boy? 
middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. Is that over by the sugar mill? No, but it's opposite the spinnery. Oh, yeah. Top right. Yep, right. right next to the olives. Which is perfect, because we uh, can, you know, when we get a little sick of that, we can start harvesting some olives. All right, off we go, chat. We're going to go head up there and get some sugar beets up in her. We we, ugh, we need to get uh, that field next to the honeybees growing again with sunflower. Get that honeybee. Not honeybee, but the honey running again, you know? Yeah. Because we don't have a whole lot of honey. Buffalo chicken, bacon, and ranch pizza. Eh, I can't handle the spicy buffalo chicken. Right? But it always looks good. I just can't handle it. Physically, I get all torn up inside. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, is that fire slain I hear? Yes, it is. We got fire slain. Stevenson and Mr. Stearman. That's the Frosty Farm Company. We're supposed to have Unique. He's on probation. If he don't show up next week, that's that's it. I'm cutting the cord. Uh, As your passenger, Frosty, can I borrow your strong arm? Why? Is there a problem, sir? Yeah, I got stuck there, Craig. All right, so Stevie <laughs> must be taking driving <laughs> lessons from Fireslam. Let me fix this situation here. She here. <laughs> this is gonna be hard to lift up. Oh, Which way are you going? Uh, that that good? Yep, yeah, that's perfect. All right. You using your truck, right? Oh, uh, you! Oh, you tore up my truck, Jack. <laughs> he tells you not to wreck his, but you he wrecks yours. Be careful Mistakes down there, Stevie. Be careful. <laughs> Someone put a tree in the wrong place. I'm almost there, fire slime. I see ya. You guys are knocking that. That's a small field, huh? Nice. Won't take long at all. I had a big party earlier today to get a little there you go i didn't know that could go up for yeah it can Perfect. lift up my bad i didn't know it could work. oh you're good i didn't even know that could do that thought it was always set to one position is that snow flurries yes it's yes. snowing <laughs> it's snowing If you want to leave that there, I can build it up later. Okay. I mean, I got it. Yeah, I'll keep running. You think I'll have time to go dump it and be back? Oh, yeah. Make sure you clean up all those patches. We need every yeah. last beat accounted for. <laughs> yeah, that field's not big at all. Which one is this? This is 23. Scratch that off the list. All right. Uh, you got potatoes on, Steven, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'll take good. this first load. I'll just take it to the sugar beet cut factory. <clears throat> what time is the pizza party? I don't know, but I wouldn't mind joining that party. That sounds pretty darn good. I'm always up for pizza. Any day, any time, it don't matter. Thought it was space junk for a moment, says Nathan. Thought it was space junk. All oh, the, snow. <laughs> the snow flurries. Yeah, it's slowly falling. I don't think we'll see any accumulation. But it's starting. It's getting chilly out. No. 
do you want to build a snowman? Another Steven who likes to harvest potatoes and sugar beets. Oh, yeah, he's down for whatever. All three of these guys, actually, they don't care. I think they just, just enjoy being here. We're just happy to be farming. Yeah. We all share the same addiction. We just love the game. <laughs> Probably one of the most relaxing simulators that runs pretty pretty darn smooth on multiplayer as long as you don't have a crap load of people. I think four or five is like the magic number in my opinion. But we work good together. We get stuff done. We all understand how the game works. We clean up after ourselves. Put things back when we're done. You know, we're a, we're a team working type of company up in here. Now we just need a racetrack. <clears throat> we're steering. Yep. So four four wheels look racing. Uh, Frosty, I'm gonna need you. Oh, I got stuck. All right. Let me dump this load real quick. You're good. I got yeah, they, need to fix, they need to fix that where we can do it. Yeah, I'm surprised. It doesn't even let you strong arm, huh? No. Frosty's famous last words. We all know what we're doing. Help. I'm yeah. Stuck. And Steerman on the radio. He's like, uh, Frosty. I'm a little stuck right now, there, Daddy. Daddy, come help me. You're fired. <laughs> it is awesome, Philip. Kind of like I'm digging the snow flurries. That's pretty cool. All right, emergency pull over. Where are you located? Uh, right down below the bakery. Below the bakery. Oh, I see you. And what are we doing? I just need to be pulled off from the light pole. Oh, I see what's going on here. Told we were just talking about those light poles. Pain in the butt. It's your fault. My fault? Oh, for talking about it? Yeah. <laughs> that that good? Yep. Yeah, we're over here. It's fucking good. Uh, Do you have potatoes in there, or what's going on? Yeah. yeah Is that why you can't fold? Yeah. Yeah, you're stuck on another one. Hold on a sec, Bumpy. Should be able to fold up after that, right? Yeah, that's the plan. All right, just Hope let I me know if you need me again. I'm trying to get back for uh, fire slaying. Hopefully, I don't go flying across the map when I do this. All right, here everyone started talking about pizza, and my mind started going nuts. Now more than ready for Saturday night. Glad I got a couple days to decide. So many options. Go with the chicken Alfredo. Give it a shot. Uh, problem is, you got to find a place in your area that makes that type. Some places don't even, they don't make that type of pizza. Luckily, I have like 50 pizza places in my area. So one of them is going to make me a chicken Alfredo pizza if I want it. I, I wish we had a cheesecake factory. Yeah. Oh. My neighbor loves uh, cheesecake. He's coming home from the military end of the month, and we're already planning a little welcome home party, getting him a big old cheesecake. Yeah. You ever had pumpkin cheesecake? Oh, yeah. Oh, that is, if it's made right, it is exquisite. I will say I'm enjoying this instant watch mod. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> yes. Like, not, not to worry about that one little extra step when you're putting things away. You can just hit insert. Yep. All right, fire line. You don't even have to stop to do it either. How full did you get while I was gone? 43. Oh, 
a little bit and you can go run these to the bakery or not the bakery but the uh, sugar beet cut factory over by the tracks can you put the harvester up immediately no nope I pulled it up and uh, put away right, sugar beet cut factory down by 33 the little uh, debris crusher thing Oh, the debris crusher? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't cared all oh, I visited. Just make sure you take it to the right one, because there is an actual debris crusher. Got the wipers on. Nice. We got Cheesecake Factory, real good desserts for sure. You lucky boy. I probably got one around me and didn't even know it. I don't know. There might be. <laughs> no, there ain't no cheesecake. Closest no? one is Charlotte. Oh. Yeah, it makes me sick. Like, I love it, but too much of it, I get bleh. Like a holiday thing. Thanksgiving, it's nice to have. I like the cherry filling at, on top. Look at your truck. It's glitching up. I can't go nowhere. All right, did you try to make a real sharp turn? Because no, it, it doesn't didn't. take sharp turns good. It just went up in midair. <laughs> oh, then, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Uh, it's on that hill. That's what it's doing. Okay. But, yeah, you just be aware it doesn't like taking real sharp turns. Found that out earlier. Uh, why can't it go anywhere? It might just be spinning out or something. There we go. Good. Might have been the, this might have been a weird slope or something. The snow is starting to pick up a little bit. Like the chicken bacon artichoke pizza the pizza place I go to as is really good. Nice, nice. You might get lake effect snow, Nathan. Yeah, living up north, that always happened in my area. Be a hundred miles away. If you knew lake effect snow was coming to that area, you knew you were getting snow. Somehow it would blow all the way down where I was at. <clears throat> uh, what are you, Steven and Steerman up to? I'm on my way with the other sugar beet harvester. Ain't hey, Bob. You want me to come back up with the trailer? To who? Uh, both of you. Uh, fire slains. We got a truck and harvester on this field. I was gonna say. So you can, can go with steer. That or he could start the uh, sunflower field, so we can get it back up and running for the bees. <laughs> That's yeah. I think it needs cultivated. That's all up to you. Oh, or we could knock it out as a team later, because I still want to get olives done. Ah. Oh, he come near. Field 16, I'm on the roof, stuck on a pole. <laughs> Jack whacker. <laughs> don't say we're professionals. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I said all that. <laughs> all right, field 16, stuck on a pole. On the field roof. Field 16, oh. stuck on a pole. He's down by the bakery. What yeah, in the world? Right the did, why the heck did you even go that way? I'm going straight across. Oh, these poles are a pain in the butt. <laughs> ain't no tires ain't touching. <laughs> I'm 
I was gonna hit it. But I didn't want to damage the dumb trailer. Try to try to do this without it. Let's see if it'll work. I feel like uh, AAA tonight. <laughs> Basically. Got the beacons. Guys, got you your AAA cards on you? Nope. Oh, you made it worse. <laughs> you way up in there. <laughs> oh, dang it. All right, I'll get out my AAA superpowers. There you go. Get the heck out of here. Back wacka. All right, where the heck were we? 223. Better study your harvest or so. You. Are you going to be able to get the rest with that swipe? I believe so. All right, so next field. One or 12. Let's see which one's closer to it. 12, I think. Yep. Mm, just a little ways. Mm -hmm. Go all the way up this road. Go past forestry. Yep. Cross the tracks. Got it? Yep. Follow me, daddy. Have a little corn, boy. <clears throat> yeah, the Frosty Towing Company. That's what it feels like so far. <laughs> All right, how many saves is that? I saved Stevenson. Saved Steerman. Saved save Fireslam. Is that three? Yeah. I saved, I saved Steerman twice, right? No, just once. Just once? You saved yourself, too. Oh, did I? <laughs> yeah, you got stuck on one of the light poles. Uh, yeah, you're right. So, f four toes tonight. That's a good thing we don't have to pay for that. That'd be expensive. Four toes. Taking a pit stop here. Might have some pallets Ooh, we can furniture. transfer over. And we can see the furniture pallets. Yeah, I still haven't seen what those look like. Oh, we used all the wood already, huh? All the planks. Yep, there ain't no planks, yep. but we do have. Do we? No, no furniture. What? Wow, it's not even made of stuff. It's at 734 right now. Why is it? Hmm. What? It says missing wood. But it I don't thought have all a... it needed. No, there's. It makes two different types of furniture. So it's not gonna make nothing until we get wood to it. No, it's making it. Oh, okay. But... Just very slowly. Yeah, because it, it's Oof. only using one product. Gotcha. I think the other one comes from popular trees. Poplar. Thing. I believe it has been locked. For sure. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, eventually, someday we'll have some furniture for you guys to look at. Don't ever pay for four toes. No. Just be happy with the one that's left, right, Ian? <laughs> furniture takes a while, I noticed. And we're even using uh, the production mod that makes things produce faster for, you know, streaming purposes. Yeah. Man, Man it's pretty cool going by. Late. What'd you say? Y'all run a little late. We beat you. Yeah, we were checking out the furniture place. Should be arriving. I, I see you down there. If you look over the hill, you'll see these beautiful <laughs> yellow harvesters coming your way. The 
It's cool seeing all these fields we've harvested, all the hard work we put in. Me, Daddy. Sorry. <laughs> Pushing me too hard. We had a tug of war over here. He lost. <laughs> Everyone's fighting each other. <laughs> well, Frosty said we had almost everything done on his list, so. It is pretty cool knowing that we got all the harvest done before like the snow started accumulating that's kind of kind of realistic that's pretty sweet how that all worked out yes wasn't even planning that either it just kind of happened oh you should have seen the farmers over here in real life they're fighting rushing to get the corn done i bet because of the yeah. frost all the cold yeah. i got two fields in front of my house three carpentry, fa uh, carpentry factories and they still can't keep up with my one sawmill making planks. Yeah. We did uh, forestry for the first time. What was it, last week? Yep. I'm going to do a lot better at it now. I, I, I'm better at it with mouse and keyboard, believe it or not. It's easier than controller, in my opinion. Yeah, you got to hit four different buttons just to do something. Yeah. Yeah. Mouse makes it a little easier. Yeah, I don't mess with all that chat because then I forget and then I get mad if something wasn't producing because I didn't. I just leave it all on. Trust me. We make we bring in enough money with everything going on. We don't got to worry about turning it on and off. You missed a spot. I know. <laughs> you sound like Dwayne. What happened? Am I too close? Or I'm in first person view. Uh, there's yeah, several I... spots missed. I think it was just a little too low. Oh, I can get it up. I better. There we go. Get a little slippery. <laughs> I'm empty. Gosh. Love the sound of the wipers. Sounds perfect. I didn't miss those spots, do and that's all Stearman. He's missing left and right. <laughs> He's watching racing. <laughs> They're all over. Yeah. So you have no excuse. Terrible. <laughs> Love all the lights on this harvester. I like it all over. Shine bright like a diamond.
Sorry. I don't like how it puts the pipe back to its original position. Or conveyor belt in this case. Mm -hmm. I want it to stay where it was. We got plenty of sugar beet cut now. So when we are done, or once you guys are full, just take it straight to the uh, sugar mill. Dump it straight. up all those missed patches. Fire slaying's fault. Always. Now come hit me, Steve. <gasps> this thing glitches out. What do you do, Jay? <laughs> I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're on the issues. Alright. Undo your trailer real quick and come ram me. <laughs> Ooh, be careful there. What's oh, up, Scott my. Wink? <laughs> I'm a farmer myself in real life. We don't mess around in the spring and harvest is always rush and fast paced. For corn, soybeans takes forever some days, I bet Justin. It's kind of, it's probably yeah, very frustrating, I would imagine. Wondering if you're, I mean, yeah. Wondering if you're gonna get it. You don't want the stuff to get ruined either. That would be heartbreaking. I mean, I'm not even kidding. If you, your stuff withers, I can't even imagine. That's like getting punched in the gut. Ugh. All that work that goes into it and then to see it get ruined. Ooh. I'd have a hard time uh, stomaching that. I Still might be able to grab all this. Still want to do field one, right? Yeah. But I think I got this last swipe. Yeah, look at that. Be nice. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Might as well go convoy together and deliver that. We'll catch you guys at the next field. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Flores coming in with the $5 super chat says, is this live? Did you drink a ginger ale? No, I didn't. I've been drinking water all day long. It was delicious. Where the heck are we going, Gumby? Where's that last one? Down the dirt road. Straight across. Went down a dirt road. Tackle box and kite bow. Something like that. I'm, I'm on my way, Daddy. My way. One more field, and then we'll uh, may or may not knock out the olives. Depends what time's looking like. I want to start doing like two-hour shows. The three hours are a little, little too much for me physically for the next day. <laughs> Me too, when I got to work in, at four o'clock. Yeah, I don't even know how you do it. I wouldn't be able to function. I got to get at least six hours of sleep or I'm a bear. We get NFPA approved. Safety nap, that's what we call it. Safety nap. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> That's why I'll stop calling it from now on. Yep. Just taking a safety map. Well, these, 
the little fields up here. I like these. These are nice. What's up, Shadow? Uh, Desert Rat Stream, and also coming in there. Thank you very much, sir, with the dollar ninety nine super sticker. Is that supposed to be a desert rat? Looks like a fox, but we'll just pretend it's a desert rat. Thank you very much, Desert Rat Streaming. So. All right, one more field of beets, and this is very small. We might have most of this done by the time they get up here. Now they'll be driving like maniacs, like, oh, no, you won't. We'll show, we'll show him. We'll be back before they're halfway done. Uh, Frosty, I'm a truck stuck on the light. I was driving too fast. It's stressful, especially when things break down. Yeah, that too. <sighs> yeah, farming ain't a whole, you know, bag of goodies. People think, oh yeah, that's probably fun and relaxing. When that tractor doesn't start, got a whole day planned to head in, the darn tractor's shut down or something broke on it, or one of your implement tools is broken, or all the birds ate your seed or whatever. Even if you get heavy rains for like days after days, doesn't the fields kind of flood out? Doesn't that ruin like everything you seeded in this sometimes if it washes it out? I tried planting grass on one side of my yard and then a month later, rain for five days straight. You could literally see all the seeds got washed down to the bottom part of the yard. I was so mad. And I had covered it with topsoil and everything, and still, the rain was just so hard. It just kept coming down, and it washed, like, all of it away. I was so P.O. This grass seed's not cheap. I spent, like, 60-something bucks on a bag of seed. It's like, dang. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. <laughs> I try to stop. <laughs> what happened? It might have been going I launched over something. Hey, here's a couple of those grass fields up here we got. I don't know. It's really snowing. It is coming down. I like it. I've never played with it this way. Kind of cool. Something different. Realistic the way it came down slow on that. Now it's going. Then blowing what? West to east, I think. You barely missed that train. You know, I looked behind me in the barriers with someone down. Oop, they're just leaving the sugar mill, huh? Sounds like it. I don't know, this truck's getting stuck on everything. Chat, did I have trouble getting stuck on things in my truck? I just want to see what the chat says. What you think, guys? No, I was behind you the whole entire time. I think we might have a problem with one of our company drivers having some issues driving a truck. I mean, no, I'm watching your tires spin. <laughs> are we going to have to demote him to a electric tractor with a little tiny trailer? Have you seen the way he drives on ATS? Are you surprised? <laughs> yes, I have. You know the last time I drove ATS on stream? <laughs> Ooh, it's been a while. Uh, it's, uh, you... <laughs> uh, what's up, Zash Gaming? Oh, crap. Dilly Dilly. Ugh. How about oh, you just yeah. come back in here with the Dilly Dilly guy instead of the Zash Gaming? Uh, Justin Dearden says a semi truck broke last year the day after Halloween on the side of the road. The fuel injector from the tank was plugged. It wasn't fun. I had, when I drove truck, I was in Iowa. It was freezing out. The, the uh, fuel pump froze. And the truck just shut down. I was on a highway. It took about three hours for maintenance to show up. I was literally, my skin hurt. I was bundled up too. It was freezing out. Out in the middle of nowhere. That, that was one of the crappy times trucking. <laughs> like, please show up soon. Yeah, that sucked. Hmm. 
Feel the deal. Ah, 50%. What do you got, Gumby? 55. Bad. missing these patches, or is that you? I missed one and you missed one. Okay. Look like amateurs. Okay, <laughs> me on the text <gasps> ETA on our drivers here. On the way. He said ETA, he didn't F you're on the way. Can't you be ETA on this map? <laughs> the truck was a white automatic freight liner. Eh. There you go. That was the first issue, huh? <laughs> say my name, say my name. There he is. There's the real dilly dilly master. These last two fields have been about the perfect size for me. Oh, perfect. I was one, I was like nervous. I was like, are they going to be massive or these were nice and small, about what, 15, 20 minutes each. That's not bad. If a farmer or rancher has a million dollars, they're still broke because they have track repairs and an animal feed and playing seed and repairs on tools like cedars, plows, cultivators. I'd still take the million and say, I'm done farming. <laughs> Give me that million and uh, we'll retire. I, can, I, I think I could survive on a million the rest of my life. I don't need to live the, the fabulous life. Get me a little house, a little piece of land, and just, you know, just chill out. I could make that million dollars last. One check back here. Where's the other one? He got stuck. He's in your truck. Quit making a turn. <laughs> Seventy three per cent. Good timing, fellers. 85 for you. Yep. Look at that teamwork, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting things done on the Frost Farm. Awesome. Uh, Stevie. Yeah. Once we're done, can you do the math to see where the rest of these beets should go? I want to have like an even fill at the sugar beet cut thing and just regular sugar beet. So you figure out if we need like to split those loads to each place or whatever you think's best. I just want to try to have the same amount pretty close to it for each. Push it a little bit. Here you go. Too close. I can take this one down to the sugar beet cut. And um, Fire Slang can take that one straight to the sugar mill. Yeah. Aim foul. Well, I'm on the way then. You got a little go. bit left in me, and then I'll be good to go. Whoever wants to take the rest. Take that off you? I'm empty. Be careful, you heard? That's everything, we'll right? I'll do my best. Yep. As far as I know, it is. Yes. All the way back to the bottom of the map. 
Um, or do you want to put these over in that new spot you created? Uh, well, all our beats from now on will be near the sugar mill, so. Uh, 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 yeah, we can take it to the big place. Yeah, let's take it to. S yeah, we'll store it at the new spot. <laughs> uh, Paul, you're slick. Triple A needed. Yeah, just go straight down that road, you'll find him. Right. He can't go nowhere. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, it's like we got another triple A call, right. chat. You're but, right. Oh, down right. that way. Yeah. It's more of a triple A call this time. <laughs> no. Well, I might need a triple A myself. <laughs> Hit the trailer. I'm like on a little cow path right now. This harvester is a beast. It can go through oh, 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 almost oh, oh, anything. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, hang on. Um. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Hang on, Fire Slane. Keep that thing in your race. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hang on, Fire Slane. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Did you get it? <laughs> Score. Yeah. I've seen teamwork way up ahead. It looks like everything's good. <laughs> Let's see if I can find another hill to hit. <laughs> it just took two of us. That was all. What is that? Yeah. Oh no. Hey, there's a deer in the road. Don't hit him. Okay, I think he's off the road now. Watch out for the uh, light poles coming up. I think there's some down here. I can't remember. Uh, we're going straight, so shouldn't be. Wasn't that pretty, Kevin? B E A Antifall. Question chat. Has anybody been seeing ads? Have there been any ads popping up? Just curious. Not on PC? I don't think so. Now. I can't remember if there's any to start your stream or not. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. Good night, Frosty. It's bedtime. Desert, thanks for stopping in. Hit the animal dealership and cars go. Cool. This AI is an idiot. They don't even stop. I had the right of way. I'm gonna need to make a little uh, driveway right here. Driveway on this side of it. There should be enough room to sneak beside the case. You think? I would think. Underneath this port could, here. But we could park them in the middle. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna park mine here just so it's not blocking anything. But yeah, that should be fine. Yep, yep, yep. Stevenson, you didn't shut off the potato harvester. I'm sure I did. Nope. All right. Got all the beats done. Pretty amazing. Uh, everything's done except olives. We got about 20, 30 minutes left in my tank of energy. I think we can knock it out. No, why not? All right, make sure you, once you All right, he guys did. are done, switch to olive orchard. See what needs done up here. Harvesting time first. Is it? Well, uh, yep. We're ready to harvest, I believe, right? Yep. You're pretty sure they are. It says so. And bow.
Bring them on in, Papa. Let's do olives. I've never seen them being harvested. Well, there they are. You don't get to see a whole lot. It's hard to tell, but if you zoom in, you'll see the little olives on here. If we look at the back of the bush, which sounds horrible. <laughs> uh, there's no olives. See how there's little green, empty stems from where the olives were? Uh oh, I got stuck. So visually, it's kind of hard to see, but they are coming off. If you look at the bottom right of my screen, you'll see uh, the harvesters filling up. We're about 12% full. When you, when you jack like get back up here, you have to take the harvester. Tired of harvesting? <laughs> no. I just figured they wanted something else to do. Wow, well, I harvesting is not the one. It'd be nice if the bush itself looked thinner, just so visually you could tell a little easier. Right. Because it's kind of hard to text up on here. It's a cool view. Screenshot. Very nice. Can you hit those uh, brights off? Perfect, thank you. The glare was horrendous. <laughs> oh, I bet. What'd Rhett say? Where is he at? Where is he at? I don't even see Rhett's comment. No, oh, the ads. My bad. Uh, no ads, no ads. No ads here. I have YT Premium, so no ads for me. Oh, Rhett and Justin have the premium. Nice. Yeah, I haven't seen ads over here in a while, or Facebook. Like yeah, Facebook's, like, random. Some people say they get them, like, nonstop the whole time, and then others are like, I never get them. That's just part of being a partner on Facebook. The ads are part of part of the partner benefit. You get them like every 20 minutes. You do? Yep. Yeah, it's it's weird. Completely random on how who gets them. Mm -hmm. It gets completely annoying every 20, 10 to 20 minutes. Aren't they yeah. the skippable ones? No. Nope. Nope. Oh, really? No, yeah, they're, be skip them. they're too short to skip them. Oh, yeah. What are they, like, between 5 and 10 seconds? Yeah. 10 to 15, oh. I think. That ain't too bad, I guess. Right. Did you say you needed this truck back? No. Because we're over here at the olives. Oh, yeah, that's right. Olives. Yeah, just let me know when you guys get over here. Stevie's already over here. He's just standing in there watching us. Oh. Um, Stevie, you want to take over harvesting? I don't mind. I can let you tag on if you want. I'll do one more row back towards you. Okay. Same thing for fire slam if you want to. Ooh, look out. Ooh, look at that. Pass that each other there. Nice. Oh. I didn't think we could pass each other. Could barely fit a two by four between us. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, once I get down to the end, Stearman and I will switch with you two. You guys can keep harvesting, and Stearman and I will hook up to the uh, mulcher and subsoiler and start getting the groundwork ready for it while you guys harvest. Sounds perfect. If you want to sit that John Deere like in the middle of the parking lot, we'll pipe, we'll get the olives out of here so you guys can c continue harvesting. Hey, sir. 
to unload these, we just back up to the trailer, right? Yeah, you gotta back up real close and thought. just dump it. Yeah, I wanted to make sure. Yeah, baby! There you go, yeah. Shadow. Yeah, you like that, don't you? <laughs> Alright, harvester off. Back around up. 68% so far. Keep an eye on whatever row Gumby just stopped on. It's so hard to tell. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's dump them olives. Nice. Beautiful. Double dumping action starting here. Oh, we are. There you go, sir. Have fun. There you go, Fashion. <laughs> Man, that's nice to move. Why have you been doing this thing? That thing. I need to turn it off. Hmm? Oh, the harvester, yeah. Wiper sounds really, really loud in these little tractors. I love it. it. sounds so good, though. I know. Go hook up the mulcher. Front. That's mine. So oh. we'll mulch on our front and gotcha. subsoil the back. Yep. Knock, knock two things out at once. You feel me? Yep. Didn't realize it attached to the front. Yep. All right. <laughs> Here you go. Whoa. Yeah, I got a little lag, you. Yep. Oh, yeah. Switch to the back, get that lowered. like it's doing anything. Yeah, I know. Can you check the uh, map soil, see what the heck's happening, if anything's happening. Lap. Ooh, this is a struggle going up this hill. Hard <laughs> stand. Spin it out. Check the map out, see what the heck's going on. Maybe it's mm. not working now. Growth. We harvested. That's good. Soil composition. The mulching part showing up. I think that, that looks like purple right next to the blue. It's very hard to see, but I think that's... Yeah, when I shut the blue off, it don't look like a lot of purple. Oh, yeah, you're right. So I don't know if it's working or not. That might be because of I was just doing that little edge on the outside. Could be. 
Yeah, let's knock off the fertilizer and just keep an eye on what the mulch looks like. How about we both... I I'm just going to go down the field each time. Yeah. You do that row to the left of me. And... To the left? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like how they don't show no difference. Uh, we'll see. Maybe it was just that little edge on the out didn't show much. After we go down here, maybe it'll look a little better. Nah, I don't think so, because I watched a little at the top, and it showed up there, but it ain't showing on the field. Bang a Bobby! I should have stood on the field and seen what it said. I didn't even do that. Check that out once I get to the end here. Yeah, I thought you were supposed to do what we're doing immediately after harvesting. I thought so too. All right, it says fertilize 0%. That's all it's saying. So do we need to fertilize? Map. Map's showing nothing for soil. Well, son of a... I've not touched olives on my map yet, so I'm not 100% sure on that one. Well, maybe this doesn't even need done for olives. Maybe olives only need fertilized. Maybe, maybe grapes are the only Poss ones you're possible. supposed to mulch. Where's my farming experts at in the chat? Do olives even need mulched and cultivated or uh, subsoiled? I know the grapes do. But yeah, I'll forget it then. We'll just uh, start fertilizing. Because <laughs> this is a waste of time, right? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Olives don't need it. Well, thanks, Philip. Thanks for letting us know. A little late to the party there. I'm joking. All right, that, that is nice to know, though. Mm -hmm. So you know what that means? I can sell all this crap. Technically, we don't need anything but fertilizers, tractor, and the trailer, and the two harvesters. So there we go. Sell that. Might get a little lag. I'm gonna sell a bunch of crap real quick. Actually, nice. One less thing we don't have to do with olives. Not a big fan of olives, mainly because you can barely see what's going on when you harvest them. If it was more visually pleasing, I'd probably like it better. Grapes are fun, but yeah, not a big olive fan. This. Nice. Could it be because it's snowing? Nah, usually you can do groundwork in the winter. Yeah, it's just harvesting. I'm gonna turn that off. Rain, that is the deepest. How's the harvesting going, boys? Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to finish this, bro. Get full. Bro, the... What? You should've skipped that row. Oh, I like going in between each one, just to be safe. Why, is it covering it all for you? Yeah. Skipping row, it's covering it. Ooh, ooh. This row was on. I'll stay by here. I'll right. stay. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you'll know then to come back to the one next time. Oh. 
I'll skip some rows then. So you'll be coming uh, two to the left. Yep. So 40 to your left is where you want to go. Yep. Right there. At least it's showing on my map that it's covering it. Good. Sounds good to me. And don't get too ahead. I don't know what row they're at. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, we're, we're sitting bottom. I was going to say they should be about done. Nice. Uh, how full is that trailer for the tractor? Still got room in it? I didn't check. Steve, was that the one you done that uh, you were standing on? Yeah, so you're all, okay. that's the one that you all run now. Just want to make sure. Oh, it's going to be a nightmare doing the groundwork on those grape orchards. <laughs> You're going to have to go yeah. down and just drive back up. Yes. The trailer the down here is full. What's that? He said the trailer's the full. The trailer down here is full. Okay. I'm gonna go park this, Steerman. You just because they're, you know. Yep. I'll go deliver the olives. Gotcha. And this will be sitting here if anybody wants to help Steerman once you're done harvesting. But he might already be caught up to you guys. I am. Street, take that one to my left. You got it. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I got it. Not a fan of either. I always get stuck. You you can when you build your own orchards, you don't have to put them super close together. You could have it. You could have it set up to uh, use big tractors if you separate it enough. Yeah. It's so much easier to build them now than it was when the game first released. Yeah. Now they have yeah. it where it clips to each other. It's nice. Yeah, my no man's land one, that was, I threw those up real fast. I was surprised. Like that was a lot easier than four. Tarp on this thing. You win. I know. I even give you a head start. My olives are good for one thing. Olive oil. So we're taking it down to the where the sugar mill is. That's where the oil factory is. Got 12,100 liters of olives and then whatever's left in their harvesters. You guys can flip a coin on who does the second load. I'm only doing the one. <laughs> I'm B. You see those new uh, John Deere weather systems? They I added haven't. to the mod hub? No, I haven't seen them. They look pretty sharp. They're They're at the main menu. Got the John Deere logo on them. A couple of different styles, pretty sharp. Red Acres, you get your butt to bed. Thank you for the super chats. Have a great one, sir. 
Thanks for hanging out, man. Need a giant visible olives mod. Yeah, where you can just see better. Doesn't look as fancy. Eddie London, sleep tight, buddy. Sleep tight. <sighs> That's everything on the list, boys. We did it all. The productive night on the farm. You? Just back up to me. We're gonna drive in between. Us. The next stream might be a little shorter. That's up to you guys, the, everybody watching. It's not going to, I mean, if we let the snow accumulate, there's only going to be like one thing to do, and that's plow snow. But put it in the chat if you want to have a snow plowing stream or if you want me to just fast forward past all that and get back to normal farming. I'm down for whatever. I uh, just don't expect it to be a very long stream because there ain't going to be much to do except maybe some deliveries and plow snow. I need to find... I think I came across a mod the other day that we can now make money from the snow. Oh, I forgot I got to switch. Oh, crap. How am I going to do this? Even if I dump the olives being a part of the olive company, it's still going to make our pallets for it's our rig. It should, yeah, because it's yeah. part of the production chain. Ooh, I wonder if that's going to give money to the olive company. <laughs> it should. I would think. Olives is not accepted here. What? All right, now I'm, now I'm concerned. I wonder if we're not going to try have to force dump them somewhere and then boat them. Ugh. A big deal, I guess, but still, that's dumb. Fast forward, back to normal, snow plow, no short streams. <laughs> There's going to be an update on gas station. Yeah, the car wash is coming next week or something i saw the update yeah back to normal farming all right so most of you we got one person saying plow snow let me see what happens if i switch companies probably gonna say i can't drive this i was gonna say oh. probably kick you out of it well yep. you, you detach the trailer do what detach it but the trailer's owned by all of us. Yeah. Would it allow us to attach back up to it? No, you have to be part of the olive company to attach to it. Mm. Could you about... force dump on top of here, Frosty? Yeah, then switch companies. And then Should switch companies. <laughs> oh. What happens? That's kind of dumb that it, it wouldn't just sell it from this company to the company. You know? Right. Ah, let's see here. Force dump. Back up just a little bit more before you do that. Right there. 
How do I force dump on keyboard? Oh, I. You don't have access to this land. Oh my gosh, come on, man. This is dumb. Ugh. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I Dude, bring don't. Bring it back up here. Force dump it up here. And on the next stream, I'll bring a loader up and I'll load a wagon up and take it down. Can you put it in the salad? No. The salad is not owned by the company. <laughs> so, what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to leave a truck and trailer up there with a loader. To load it up there. I was going to say, next time I could bring a truck and trailer up, but I'll just load up what on the next stream. I'll take it down. Okay. Yeah, that stinks. Dang it. You know what I might end up doing is it's going to be a pain, but get everything just on one company. I'm going to have to sell. It makes you sell everything, you, all your equipment. Yeah, I know. That was kind of scary. Did you see that, Stevie? You just jumped through the house and stuff. I did. <laughs> you should do it and look at it. I can't do it with it on. Oh wait, yeah, I can. Turn it back on. Okay. Yeah. No. Fire slam. Back to normal, back to normal. Personally, I think the snow looks terrible. It does. It's... Uh, when I'm just enjoying it off stream, I skip right through the winter. <laughs> it looks bad. The plowing part's cheesy. It just doesn't look good, so... Looks like the majority of you would rather just skip past the accumulated snow. Which I agree. I'm glad most of you said that. I'm gonna see if this will just let me force dump it here. We'll just see. Probably won't, but... Don't have access to this land. Okay. See if we can dump it in this parking lot. <laughs> Store parking lot? Nope. Yeah, I'm trying. See, they, they've changed the way that works. Because like, you used to be able to do that under on 19. Like, Working I could for companies? Give you a contract. Yeah, if you, if you were part of, like, Frosty's Farm and I had the olives, I could give you a contract to harvest my olives and it would pay you. And you'd be able to dump them off. Yeah. I guess they've changed it because of production chains. I guess. And now it's kind of pointless to do it, huh? Yeah. Run into a problem like this. How it's about... Okay, that's a good idea, Ian. How about 15 minutes of plowing snow, then fast forward to normal farm? Maybe. We'll think about it. Yeah, if we could we, maybe do that. If we wanted to set up a dump station, it would like the land right behind the store in between the main road and where the field 41 is we could buy it for the olive company take a look at what you're trying to tell me here uh if you could be a farmer what would you farm and what would you have an i would not have animals jason i would just want to make bales have a nice couple big fields have some nice healthy grass that I could make hay bales or silage bales and that's it. That's all I'd want to do. <laughs> oh, if you had hay bales right now, you'd make some nasty money. I know. That's ex you know, uh -huh. and I, that's all I want. I don't want animals. I don't want all the crops. I just something simple and something that all the farmers are always going to need, any animal farmer anyway. Alright, what are you trying to tell me here? We got... That right where you're sitting at, that little piece of land to your right in behind the store field, yeah behind the store above field 41 before you get to the main road you yeah. could buy it for the olive company and we could make it like a dump site for them but i don't think i can buy that not I shown as a pull up about on his stream yeah you can't select that yeah. weird I, th I think i've bought everything 
everybody owns something, but I could buy yeah. that grass section here, but I'd have to sell it. Yeah. Ugh, pain in the butt, huh? But then if you did that, we wouldn't be able to load it for the other company either. Exactly. <laughs> so it's kind of like, yeah, we're yeah. just going to unfortunately have to... I'll live dump this on the olive property, then just get rid of it. The good thing is there's not a whole lot of equipment for the olive company, so I'll sell it all off stream and get rid of the olive company and just combine it with the main farm. you have to do that with the grape company too, won't you? I'm going to do it with everything. We're just going to have it all on under one I was going to say, because last year she was running into the forestry the other night as well, but you yep. yep. Put off, I couldn't sell it. Well, the forestry you don't really have to sell since we can just leave it there and it automatically sells. Because we have to force sell it. So he really just needs to do it with the olives and grapes. This thing is dying up this hill. We didn't have like a giant field of olives to do. And then found this out. Yeah. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. Yeah. Okay. Live and you learn. It felt like a cool idea having the companies, but it's only been a pain in the butt having the different sections. So. Yeah. I only wanted to do that so we didn't have to sift. Like me personally, I click on my equipment, but I know some right. people like to s switch to each thing, and that would be annoying with that much equipment. Yeah. Now here's my question: When you force dump them, if you sell the land, do they disappear? <sighs> I'll have to find out. You guys can force dump your harvesters right on where I'm at when I'm done. Wait. Hey. Right. Making the The snow stopped. I wasn't even didn't even notice. <laughs> Stop snowing, chat. I'm hiding. That we need your trailer. Really you can't force dump it? Can't force dump those? No. Gosh. Alright, fill me up, daddy. <laughs> Cover, cover Gumby and Olives. Those olives disappear. I will olives. see the olives themselves aren't owned by anybody. If I don't think anyway, <laughs> we'll find out here soon. We'll do it on stream just so you guys in the chat can see, so you know what happens if this ever happens to you in the future. All right, so let's sell everything. Wow, well, already. <laughs> You guys might as well switch to the other company. Already there. Right. Get back here. I wonder if I can jump up on this side. <laughs> Are you standing on me too? Whoa, where'd you go? Oh, wait, you're up on top of me, ain't you? No. <laughs> oh. I'm right next to you. <gasps> they won't let me jump. <laughs> uh, now walk a little bit. Really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it what? won't let me move. I'm hey! <laughs> you fell. You wake up there. Come on. You almost had it. 
Oh. There it is. Don't move. Don't move. There you go, Frosty. Hi, Frosty. Uh, one second. Aww. Put them all stacked up, wondering if their olives will disappear. Uh, Gumby's taking a bath in olives. Yes, he is. He's having a good time now. All right. Ugh, the moment of truth. And I'm going to have to sell the land. That's the scary part. About to find out what's going to happen here. Farmland. Sell. Tell me they're still there. Yep, they're still there. Yes. Don't right. see it yet. And now we're going to go down to farms. We're going to transfer all that money to Frosty Farms real quick. Cool. Transfer money to that farm. Do it all. All right, all of Orchards is negative five in debt. Went bankrupt. We can delete the farm, but I'm in it, so I need to switch to this one. Goodness. Now we can get rid of it. Delete farm. Come. All right. Now I'm going to start uh, putting machines here. Yeah, I'll get you uh, actually can... Can someone find out if those three-in-one red trailers take olives? I think they do. Let's put, like, a big wheel loader up here. <clears throat> uh, doesn't look like they do. Yeah, no. Wait. Yeah, they do. Do they? I think. It should be. Is it right there beside sunflowers? No, that's the... Uh, actually, don't get... Yeah, yeah, you're correct. Yeah, it is. All is. Yeah. yeah. So it does? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, it does. All right. Cool. We got that. Get you a bucket loader. That hauls... All of... Yeah. Yes. That holds 3,500... Holds four thousand. Get you the Jump big one. It. Oh, someone bring a tractor trailer up there, and then uh, Steerman, if you don't mind, I'm gonna spawn some equipment over here. You can start parking it nice. Yep. So we're gonna need two harvesters and two tractors with sprayers. That's about all we need here, huh? Yeah. Does that bucket work? Have to find out. All right, what kind of, you got a trailer up there? Ooh. No, bring the red. Um, I need to buy this land, I think. One second. Just bring one of the red 3M1s up for now. Should yeah. work now. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Got to make sure you own the land, chat. Got to own the land to be able to scoop stuff <laughs> off of it. All right. I'm going to start spawning equipment. All right. Yep. All tractors. Bad boys. Hey, you're wasting gas. Thank you. Get you a sprayer to hook up to while you're sitting there. Yay. Buy another one. Ah, crap. I'll fix it in a minute. I'll give you the bigger engine. I forgot. So are you going to sell that tractor? 
No, I'll just, I can switch it if you get out. There you go. Okay. Don't really need a front attachment, so we'll just leave that off. Fill that up real quick. All right, and we'll spawn two harvesters. Crap, we don't have enough money. All right, we'll have one for now. We don't need, we'll have enough money by the time we ever have to harvest these again. So there's one. Park that and bada bing, bada boom. Is that all working, loading that up and everything? Yep, it's all working. Nice. Watch this professional load up some olives. I seen you sold everything and switched farms and everything is same. What's the difference? Well, now we own all the land with the Frosty Farms Company farm. So what was happening is because we had the olives farm, it wouldn't let us dump the olives at the sugar mill at the oil factory because the other company owned it. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. Kind of weird it doesn't let you do that. But So it's just smarter to sell the land, transfer the money, get rid of the olive company, I guess you could say, and combine it with the main profile. If that makes any sense at all. Fire Slane, get out of there. You're going to get all stinky. You smell like dirty old olives. <laughs> I'm out of work. But we learned something tonight. I, now we know. Companies are pointless. <laughs> Or separate farms is what they're called, I guess. Yeah. Good job. I mean, it, it'd all be full? good if we were like splitting it up with all four of us to have different farms, but that's it. Yeah. Do you want to sell this loader? Because we've got one down on the farm, haven't we? Uh, I think we'll still use it, right? Uh, we can keep it for now, just in case. Is what I would do, and if we need to, we can sell it the next stream. Wouldn't we be loading trucks with it anyway? Not necessarily. I may have a solution. But I don't know if it works or not. Gotcha, gotcha. Stevie, you remember that mod I sent it? you? That uh, dumpster truck mod I sent? Yeah. I believe it may be perfect for this up here. Ooh, you know what else would work good maybe? I wonder if it would dump into those container transfers they if do. it's low I, enough. They do. They do. Oh, perfect. I have, I have, uh, I found a mod that has the semi instead of using the trailer. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, the, like a dumpster truck. Oh, I know. I've seen it. Yep. Yeah. It has the transfer swap on it. Yep. And you yep. can hook two trailers to it, too. Gotcha, so gotcha. You, you can haul two containers instead of just one. Gumby needs a raise, says Shadow. Everybody's doing good tonight. Teamwork was beautiful. So if it works, then we could use that up here. Yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. For the sake of mods, I'll think about it. It might be just as easy to run, yeah. you know, run down there and get one of those. Yeah, could be. But I, I do know which mod you're talking about. All right, boys. I mean, that's pretty much it. Is everybody, I mean, is everything pretty much put away from all the other stuff we did? Uh, yep. Other than your truck, I think. 
and four. It's going to wrap things up. I'm going to dump these olives and... I'm going to grab more Percy. Looks like everybody in the chat, except maybe one person, I think. Justin Dearden was the only one that said plow snow. <laughs> Ian Oppenheim made a good point. Good plow for, you know, the opening of a stream and then, you know, fast forward time. But only thing with that is then I don't know exactly what we need to do what I want to do so we might just skip it all together the snow part because I like to have a plan what when I make my well, list and all that could you turn auto save off and fast forward it and then work out the plan and not save it or I guess the plan was going to be groundwork anyway so technically okay. with snow on the ground we could have a, like we, a cultivating party. I was gonna say we could go around. We need to cultivate every field basically on the map. So that's that's an option. Kind of be fun to watch. Be something different. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out one way or the other. We'll we'll but we'll have fun. Oh yeah. All right, fire slam. Can't stand the smell in here anymore. I gotta get out of this truck. <laughs> Sorry, oh. I you had a blowout? I did. All right, let's check how much olives got delivered in here. About 12,000 liters. Yeah, we got 17,000 liters, 90,000 liters of sunflower. So uh, currently making olive and sunflower oil. There might even be canola in the silo. Uh, Doubt it. But. Hang on over and over and check on the fire lines over there. There is not zero. Cool. I'll meet you guys back at the house here and already here. Say our goodbyes. Yay. Jack Whacker's at. Where are they at? There they are. Good job tonight, boys. All right, chat, what do you think? Last stream I watched, Fire Slain didn't even have a voice. Yeah, he's all better now, thankfully. Everybody seems to be feeling good here, which is a plus. Testing out the suspension. <laughs> you don't drive it as fast as somebody's got to. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and the gate's my horse. Ralph Stana. All right, that's it, chat. I'm I'm whipped. Um, next show will probably be. You might see snow on the ground. I don't know how much plowing we'll do. What? Yeah. Probably not plowing, but probably some groundwork while it's still like winter time. Get everything cultivated. Uh, that'll be fun. So. That's probably what you'll see. Not sure which day that'll be. I'll do what I've been doing and put the uh, the preview stream up so you know what time it'll start. Hopefully that helps some of you out just to have an idea. Oh, yeah, Frosty will be live later tonight at that time. So hopefully that's been working out for you guys. Uh, have a good one, Shadow. Joey, peace out, brother. Uh, I'm done. I'm tired, Joey. I'm sorry. I'm whipped. <laughs> that is uh been streaming since 8 o'clock. So that's six, what, six and a half hours of streaming? Something like that. Uh, Ian, have a great one. Fire Slam, Stevenson, Gumby, thank you so much for helping. Always a blast. Hey. You're welcome. For anybody that wondered what we did tonight, we fed all the animals. We mowed grass, made hay bales, silage bales for the cows to get them through the winter. We delivered flour to the bakery, milk. To the dairy and bakery olives you just saw that we harvested three fields of beets and a field of potatoes and made some other deliveries as well so yeah we were all over the place uh, chad philip ian justin have a great night siebert peace out thank you so much for joining us we will catch you on the next one from the frosty farms company good night ladies and gentlemen Catch you around on another one. Hit that subscribe button.
See you later. Right. 